Shokugeki no Soma chapter 185. <laughs> Alright, so this chapter is basically split up in two parts. The build-up, the preparation of the competition, and then the competition in itself. The first half, we get introduced to the judges. And we have some comedic purposes. Two judges are two girls. I think they're twins. Either that or Bessies. They look like twins to me. Both 15. Names Bertha and Shilia. And the chapter starts off with, they're both looking at Soma. And then they, they mention, oh, uh, Haima is a better looking person. Oh, but he also looks too hot. But then they mention, oh, but Soma, he might be the one who's sincere. But he might be too clingy and annoying. And I'm like, I'm not sure if that's exactly true. Soma can be a bit of a dick. They're both dicks in their own ways. But I thought that was a pretty good comedic purposes right there. I like these two girls already. So apparently these two girls are prodigies and both uh, students of, I believe, Senora. I, I don't know what was her name. Uh, basically, they're students of Alice's mom, you know, the hot milf. And they're pretty much geniuses at this young of an age and they pretty much know they're cooking. And they're, they're automatically rooting for Haima just because of his looks. Now, based off of that, Kuga does not like like the idea at all. He thinks that there might be some bias towards Haima because he's in Central. And that's what he's mainly worried about. He's worried about what the judges are going to, how they're going to uh, look at the food and how they might show some bias to, to Central. And even though it's not a Shokugeki, Soma has n not challenged Haima to a Shokugeki. I think it shows that Kuga really does still care about Soma staying in school and staying at Totsuki, even though he kind of plays it off as, oh, it's just him uh, wanting his own desires, him using Soma as a pawn. And I think he's actually grown close to Soma enough to where he's actually looking after Soma and telling him, hey, listen, this needs to be completely unbiased and fair. So the two judges are Bertha and Shilia, both little lowly type girls, look cute and funny. I like them so far. And then the third judge, this one's pretty interesting, his name's actually So, Nakiri So. I believe that's how you pronounce his name, So. Uh, he's basically the actual son of Sainzamo Nakiri, or Nakiri Sainzamo. And he's actually like the heir, or what you say, the firstborn, secondborn, whatever. He's the actual bloodline. And I'm surprised that he's the judge. But what I'm really surprised, not only, I mean, yeah, I'm a little surprised, but he's Alice's dad. We've been introduced to, we've been introduced to Alice, her dad, her mom, basically her whole family. We're missing two people so far in like this whole picture. We're missing uh, uh, Edina's mom. We're missing Soma's mom. Basically, the other two moms of the pretty much two main characters are who we're still missing. If you saw like the family tree, they have question marks next to everything. I'm pretty sure those are going to be some pretty big reveals later on. And they're going to be important, imperative to the plot of what happened with Asami and, um, and George Shuro. George Shuro. <laughs> Sometimes I have trouble pronouncing his name. But it's like some little build-up. It keeps adding to the mystery and what the fans have been waiting for for a long time. Hopefully we get it down the line. So basically the first half is we get introduced to Nak So Nakiri. Nakiri So. Keep repeating myself. And he's kind of like, he looks strict and mean at first. And he like vows to like be fair completely. Even if it was Alice on the line, he would still be fair. Even if she were to get eliminated. And Soma thinks like, oh, he looks like a strict father, but then he shows the soft side, and you could tell he spoils Alice. You could just tell. He has a picture of uh, his daughter and a picture of his wife. It's like, oh, you're so kawaii. And I'm like, oh my god. He's the type of guy who's like, looks all tough and filly on the outside, but has a huge soft stomach on the... I'm sorry, I got that backwards. He looks hard on the outside, but he's soft on the inside, and he probably spoils his family. So that's the first half of the, uh, the chapter. Then we get to the actual competition, and they reveal the bear meat, and then we get a go on of Haima versus Yukihira, and it shows again how like-minded these two are. They use the bear meat, and the way they're going to use it is by frying it, like American style, the way Haima mentioned it. Now, the thing that's interesting is that this isn't the first time that they have thought the same idea for the cooking. If you look back back in the preliminaries or the, the playoffs, so to say, in the cooking, they both thought of an idea of both enclosing the curry spices or the smell of spices and then popping it open and then the aroma or the smells would hit the, hit the person or the judge. That's the second time that people have thought about it. And it's funny, it's the same order. Haimo would go first and Yukihoto, Yukihira would go second and they both had very similar ideas. Now I'm wondering, like let's say if Haima does get out of Central, if he comes out of this with back on Yukihira's side, we have yet to see a team up 
of any sort between Yukihira and Haima, not that I can remember at this very moment right now. I would have to look back. But so far we've seen uh, uh, Yukihira team up with Alice. Yukihira team up with Kor Korokiba. Yukihira team up with Aldini. He's teamed up with a lot of his friends, Megumi. We have yet to see him team up with Haima, and those guys are very, I think they're very like-minded in the way of cooking. Even though they go at, at a different angle, they come, they always seem to come to the same conclusion. This is the second time that has happened with the cooking. It happened in the autumn elections, and now it's happening now. And I thought that was very interesting, and I um, hope down the line, when they're going up against Central, because we know Haima is going to be back on their side. He's too good of a character just to kick out here. I want to see a team up between them, or at least a team of five with Haima and Yukihira on the same. That would be a formidable combo, and one that I'm looking forward to. Another team up I would like to see is Adina and Soma, but that's more for comedic purposes. Uh, as far as this, uh, the pacing goes, I thought it was actually pretty damn like well-paced, good. It's like you got through the first half of the preparation, some comedic purposes, the second half, the hype going, and I love the way how they were analyzing it, how the frying can be a, a big... Hail Mary pass where it's successful, but if you fail, it's like a dud completely. There's no halfway point. And they're both going at it. That's how like-minded are. They're both going on the offensive, going for the knockout. And I love the, the drawing of both Haima and Yukihira. They have like the boxing stance, bare knuckle with the wrapped around fist, and they're going at it. Both look ripped. Haima looks a little more ripped. Well, he looks, he might, Haima actually might look like that in real life. I don't think Yukihira though. He looks a little more thinner in real life, but in the drawing, he looks all muscle-bound and ripped. So this chapter was just like, it had everything in it. It had both good characters. Sh the cooking just showed who these guys are. And this is the second time in the row. It proves that just how like-minded these people are. And I, I want to make a point out of that because I'm looking forward to the future when they go up against Central more. Uh, that's pretty much it for my review. <sighs> I don't think there's anything else we're going to talk about. <sighs> Man, this review came out kind of late. Alice. Everyone else looks good. Oh! Oh, how did I almost forget? We get Megumi and Aldini at the very end. And they're kind of thinking, oh, Soma's getting it on at the very end. And we find out who they're going up against. I don't know if they're t both going up against them at the same time. But Aldini and Megumi are going up against Rendu. Rendu Senpai. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. She's the second seat. How the hell are they going to beat her? Okay, if they're, if they're double, teaming, double teaming her, I can probably see... Maybe them getting out of it alive, but if it's one-on-one -on -one, like if she takes them one at a time There's no way and oh, uh, there's one point that Kuga had brought up in the beginning of the chapter You guys are going against the elite ten What are the chances of you guys all coming out unscathed because Soma was having the same conversation with Alice at the beginning And I like how they're calling each other man such good friendships between these characters man to Alice and Soma man. Everyone's so close and they talk as if like everyone's gonna get out of this unscathed. Oh, don't worry, we're gonna come out. We're gonna come back to each other again. And I'm like, that's like that's like death flags. And in the, and as far as cooking, that means you might get suspended. I doubt it. I doubt it if any of the characters do not get suspended. How the hell are they gonna be? How's everyone gonna come out of this alive? There has to be one person that comes out of this. I think I'm gonna call bullshit if everyone beats an elite ten. I call calling bullshit right there. There's no way, unless. Some outside resources come in. That's the only way of seeing it, like Kuga did. But Haima is more at Yukihira's level. Rindu versus Aldini Megumi, I don't think they're there yet. She's the third year and the second seed. This chapter just got me more hyped now that I thought about it, man. 4.5 out of 5 stars. Great chapter. Hope you guys like the review. Fantart out.